Tonight, a closer look at the moment Chicago Fire Department diver Juan Busio went into distress and had to be rescued. Busio was later pronounced dead at the hospital. And tonight, a live look outside his firehouse where bunting now drapes the building. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. CBS2 was on the scene as rescue crews tried to pull Busio from the water. To investigator Dave Savini begins our team coverage. We warn you, though, the video may be difficult for some to watch. You're listening to and watching the final moments of veteran Chicago firefighter and scuba diver Juan Busio's life. Busio and his partner were dropped off by helicopter and had already been in the water for some time searching for a missing man. Our CBS photographer Scott Placco was videotaping the river rescue when he suddenly captured Busio in trouble. Listen as crews on the boat yell out to Busio and his partner. But Busio and his dive partner are still in trouble. You then see Busio disappear and go under near the front of the rocking boat. And the other diver puts his hands on the side of the boat to also avoid going under. What are you doing? They throw a rope to the other diver who is also still in the water. But as he's pulled out, there is still no sign of Busio. You can hear radio traffic between boats as they now realize Juan Busio has not surfaced. Still unsure of what happened to Busio, they talked to his partner. Three vital minutes pass in this video before other divers are sent in to find him. Eventually, his body is found. The chief in charge of safety for the Chicago Fire Department came to CBS2 to watch our video today. He could not comment, but we had many questions, like why at least what appears to be a three-minute delay in sending the other divers which were on that boat into the water to look for Busio. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. I'm Dana Kozlov. A tragic day for us. That's how Busio's deputy chief describes the sadness in the fire department as bunting is hung and flags are lowered here at his firehouse. And many who worked alongside the fallen firefighter call him one of the best. I trust him with my life as a partner. Chicago Fire Department diver Brian Kaufman is numb and grieving the death of fellow diver Juan Busio, as are many who knew and worked alongside him. He was great in the water. He was one of the best we had. The 14-year department veteran and 10-year diver died while trying to rescue a man who fell into the Chicago River Monday. Instead, Busio went under and never came up. Well, nobody expects to go to work and not come home. Neither did Juan. And when Juan jumped out of the helicopter on that dive mission, Juan didn't expect what happened to him. Mayor Rahm Emanuel spoke with Busio's firehouse colleagues before meeting with his family. They say Busio has two young sons. The oldest turned 10 today. They should know that their father always talked about them. And uh, that's, that's what hurts the most. Busio was a Chicago police officer before joining the fire department. He lived on the city's southwest side. Neighbor Jerry Kamen's son put out this helmet in tribute. We uh, felt that was a measure of respect that we should show. Juan Busio is a true hero. You want to know who a hero is? It's Juan Busio. It's still not clear how Busio died. There was an autopsy, but it's pending further studies and investigation. And tonight, a fire department spokesperson tells me that the department is still investigating the circumstances of his death. We are live at Southwater and Columbus Drive. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Rob. Yeah, what a heartbreaking story, Dana. Thank you.